Lord Parker's Ollie Day. Written by Tony Barwick. Directed by Brian Burgess. 23rd of October 1966. ATV London slash Angular. Penelope and Parker are Monte Bianco when a storm dislodged their nearby solar dish. The damaged reflector now refocuses the sun's ray, threatening to incinerate the town. Parker distracts a hotel full of guests while International Rescue gets to work. Experimental technology is to blame once again in this light, largely light-hearted escapade. An intimate professor is wonderfully confident about the launch of his new energy project. But it seems that even the most basic safe guards have been overlooked as his solar generator is repeatedly struck by lightning due to a violent storm and the dish becomes detached. When the weather improves, the reflector bathes Monte Bianco in moonlight, enthralling the guests at the hotel's costume ball. But sunrise brings a whole new problem. So a demob happy Parker resplendent in Reynolds' dress contrives to keep the whole tale entertained with an elaborate Russ Lord Parker's bingo and Lady Penelope a knockout in her Marie Antoinette frock takes Fab One for a spin to escape radio interference and to make contact with international rescue this leads to a comedy drunk dropping his booze in a in the briny when clap eyes on the pink floating Rolls Royce. It's an irresistible gag that would have slopped me into one of Roger Moore's James Bond's capers. Fantasy and Bruno prove amusing double act. The four was optimism thrown into sharp relief by the latter's old school doom mongering. But when Bruno's jitters turn out to be substantiated and are echoed by the not normally superstitious Jeff, Viewers may be forgiven feeling uneasy themselves, especially when Brains ignores orders and scrambles awkwardly on the dish. A suspenseful final act reminds us just how fond we have grown of international rescue called engineer. The main plot of Lord Parker's holiday clearly struck a chord with the makers of the 2015 series Thunderbirds Are Go, who wove elements of it into their opening episode. Professor Lundgren. <coughs> the reflector is attracting the storm like a giant magnet. The distinguished scientist, known to Lady Penelope for a brief occasion, who has developed a new way of harnessing solar energy. Varikasni. Tomorrow a little town be famous. The evoluted hotel manager is nevertheless rude and dismissive to his senior employee, Bruno. Bruno. It's against nature. It will be a great disaster. An elderly, gloomy hotel employee who predicts predictions of catastrophe comes to pass. Solar Generator An innovative but flawed energy system invented by Professor Lundgren. Magno Grip A large mag Electromagnet employed by Thunderbird 2 to tilt the full and reflector of the solar generator. Hydrofoil. At the flick of a switch, these retractable skis allow Fab 1 to leave dry land and travel over sea. <laughs>